Thank God we're moving out this weekend. This guy said, Melrose is fucking trash. I can't believe I saw an innocent man die over a shoe raffle. Someone was just shot at a shoe palace. My family and I heard the pop and saw when the victim was on the ground. No way he killed someone over a hundred and eighty dollar. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Oh, fuck. Yo, what is up, YouTube? Arcs with Prescription Kicks here. Today, we're going to go over basically this really fucked up situation where someone outside of Shoe Palace Melrose in broad daylight got shot. Um, basically, it was a store employee that was killed this afternoon around 12.30 lunchtime. It's crazy what the world has come to. Um, apparently, it happened due to a raffle. Literally, a raffle. I believe it was the dunk raffle. They're doing raffle, like in-store raffle tickets at um, the location. And the person that was shot was actually a Shoe Palace employee. We're going to basically be going over the news report. You can actually see the guy fire at him. Um, and the craziest part is that the Shoe Palace employee was just in the middle of the confrontation. He wasn't even a part of it. I, word on the street was is that he's literally on the way to work. He just try to, you know, fix the situation. And you know how it goes down during these sneaker drops. I mean, I, I caught it some some things on tape before like people just get angry because of their places in line they feel like some people are cutting and it's, it's just crazy that some people really value materialistic things like shoes like i know my channel centered around shoes we all love shoes but like i always say a shoe is never worth a life at the end of the day that's just point blank period so we're gonna hop in this video like i said there is gonna be a little trigger warning and we're just gonna basically dissect it and talk about this whole situation man it's pretty fucked up so a shoe raffle literally a shoe raffle crazy man now if you've been in la you know this location you know this shoe palace like it's it's massive it's huge um and the whole intersection this is on this is on melrose mind you at 12 30 p.m someone got shot in broad daylight and uh like I said, there's a shocking video of it that someone captured. It's crazy. Like, some people really have no value, no morals. Like, obviously, I don't know the details of what happened. But, bro, if it's about a shoe raffle that you're mad about, you had to kill an employee? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's nuts. That's crazy. So let me get this straight. The shoe palace worker was trying to break it up. And because of that, they got pressed. And so they jumped them and then just ended up shooting him. That just doesn't add up. Like, was this dude mentally sane? I mean, obviously not if he's shooting someone over shoes. But damn, bro, I just can't understand that logic. Oh, my God. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Hold on, chat. Hold on, chat. <laughs> God. There's no way he killed someone over a hundred and eighty dollar. Wait, hold on, hold on. These are the ones that dropped today, right? But hold on, hold on, hold on. These look like these ones, which go for even lower. Oh my God, bruh. What is the world coming to? Okay, get this. If it was a life changing amount of money, I mean, no shoe is even worth that much, but let's say the most expensive shoe. I don't know, Carhartt, M&M 4s. And I'm not trying to justify anything. I'm not trying to justify anything by any means, but I'm just trying to think of the logic of the gunman. Now, if this was the shoe they were raffling for, right? And you had a good chance to do it and you saw someone cut, 30K on the line, that's 30K on the line, right? That's life changing money for a lot of people. That's maybe one year's salary worth for a lot of people. Bro, what the fuck is a hundred? Like retail, this shoe's like what? Dunks are like what? A hundred, hundred ten? What the fuck is the... This guy really was so pressed that he killed someone over these. Not even something like this. Not even... Bro, not even something like this, bro. 
Nah. Like, man shot him over Nike Dunk Low crazy camos. Bro, what the fuck is the world going to, bro? That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. <sighs> that's just it's just a case of just being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Like, wow, that's so unfortunate. I feel so bad. I hope they catch that motherfucker. Oh, he's done for. He's done for. And it was on broad daylight, like I said. It was in broad daylight, 12.30 p.m. Like, bro, what? Guy's a nut. I don't even understand what he was so pressed over. Like, you're in line for these ugly shits? Bro, you're... No, 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 not these, not these. You're in line for these ugly shits. Someone cuts you? Bro, I'd be happy. Take this pair away from me. Dead ass. Like, you, you want this? You can have it, bro. Like, I would be happy if someone cut me in line for this type of raffle for for a raffle for this type of shoe you know what i'm saying like complete opposite of how you know i mean this motherfucker acted this motherfucker thought it was the end of the world or something like what holy shit bro well we do have a video like i said now guys like i said there's a trigger warning um you know they do show it all in this video it's pretty graphic so it's not up close and personal but you can see it at a distance so by all means if you're squeamish do not watch this Ooh, fuck. oh fuck oh they they lagged it they lagged it of course they lagged it of course they lagged it okay this is censored good 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 because i don't want to put this on youtube and like yeah i don't want any graphic or any like kid if you're watching this you know i'm sure you've seen worse shit but i don't want you to be fucking scarred for life but so a bunch of shoe palace workers right i think okay they're saying the gunman is the dude it's hard to tell okay so on youtube i mean on twitter there's a video um it's it's the raw uncut footage you know what i mean uh, i'm not gonna drop a link or whatever you guys can find it on your own but they said this guy is the gunman right is that his getaway that looked like the car in the video this guy was the gunman, so what is it? Black tee, black and white shorts. It was this motherfucker right here. It was this motherfucker right here. This small ass dude, right? Does that match the description? They just popped him in broad daylight. And the dude recording was across the street, and there was a whole ass crowd. So, like, they have so many witnesses. Oh, yeah, it's for sure. It's for sure that guy. It's for sure this guy right here. He did for the whip. This guy right here. And he dipped. And this is an employee. Oh my god. They're they're scarred. They're scarred. Holy fuck, bro. They literally just went as a fucking murder. I hope I hope that motherfucker gets not only the death penalty, but I hope he gets every L on sneakers <laughs> from today like just curse for life like every raffle everything just all else bro just teach him a fucking lesson i hope he gets blacklisted or some shit yeah and apparently people are getting the story mixed up they think the employee had some fire ass shoes on and the dude was trying to jock him for the shoes and that's why he killed him and in broad daylight obviously that wasn't the case we would have seen him try to steal the shoes or something or i mean that would have been even worse as as scummy as this was that would have been even worse but um oh fuck i do not want to show this um yeah melrose has been getting active lately for real though over sneakers man i mean like what is this like the fourth fifth case in like a year on melrose like i yeah, i'm sure you guys remember the video i made about the protests you know the riots last week the stealings the lootings like shit is live out there bro but damn Thank God we're moving out this weekend. This guy said, Melrose is fucking trash. I can't believe I saw an innocent man die over a shoe raffle. Someone was just shot out of shoe palace. My family and I heard the pop and saw when the victim was on the ground. I don't know if he's still alive in this speculation that he's an SP employee. Fuck, bro. That's so tough. These new wave sneakerheads resellers literally cancer to the community. What reseller would get so pressed over, what, a $40 profit? 30 no nah, not even that 30 20 it makes you think did he have like an underlying cause like what and i'm not trying to defend it at all but it's just insane dude and he was just trying to break up the fight
Yeah, and then this guy says, as a former manager, please close your location for at least a week and I'll be inhumane and keep operating. Your associates are traumatized. Yeah, no, that's facts. If this shoe palace is still going to keep opening up the rest of the week, bro, if they open tomorrow, nah, that ain't right. That ain't right. Literally one of their fucking coworkers, employees got shot. That ain't right, bro. Close it down. No more in-store raffles for the year. That's it, bro. Oh, this is him. They got pictures, bro. If you know or see these murders, please report them. Bro, that's stuff that stuff bro they got him in 4k good good i hope this one this motherfucker doesn't even look like is he a reseller oh this motherfucker wearing black air force ones he got that black air force one energy bro ah man but it's very unfortunate i swear that's the scum of society right there man i like, make an extra 20 dollars it's never worth that much guys sneakers are never worth your life at the end of the day you know what i mean sneakers is a material object you know it's crazy what sneakers can do for people but the end of the day a shoe is never worth a human's life point blank period man it's arcs with prescription kicks let me know what you think of this video and this whole situation i think it's fucked up if you're that shoe palace on melrose i really hope you guys are going to be closed down for a minute because if you're reopening and running raffles just like that acting like nothing happens that's fucked up on that part and that's all i gotta say about the topic man it's just fun i always be going over these controversial topics because they just blow my mind like like sneakers like yeah they can change your life like sneakers have changed my whole mindset they they helped me come up on money um when i needed it since i started in college but you know if it ever came down to it and i had to get rid of it the whole lifestyle say less you know it's never worth the life it's never worth you know someone's own well-being you know so r.i.p to that man a shoe palace worker he did nothing wrong he just got caught up in the wrong place in the wrong time and it's just totally unfortunate it breaks my heart man but we as people need to do better if there's people like this that have this mindset running out there you know there's probably a hundred more other ones on Melrose with the same motherfucking mindset so ah it's sad man just be wary but with all that being said our prescription kicks man let me know your opinion as always like the video up subscribe comment and yeah we out Peace.